morning and a very warm welcome to our worship here, our benefice service for Ascension Day. It's good to see members of Denston and Hollington Church as well as St Michael's here in the building. It's good to know that there will be people at home from all four churches. Our worship will start with a hymn that you can sing at home. Unfortunately, we're still not allowed to sing inside the building. So if you want to stay standing as part of your worship, please do so. If you would prefer to sit, please do so.
Grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. And today we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his parting. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 1, 4 to 11. While staying with them, he ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptised with water, but you will be baptised with the Holy Spirit, not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the time or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood it by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus who has been taken up from you into heaven will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Seeing, as, seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him praise worthy of his name. Please stand if you're able as we say the words of the glory together. Glory, glory to God, God in the highest, and, and peace to his people on earth. earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God our Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ. With, with the Holy Spirit, Spirit in, in the, the glory, glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us into eternal life. <laughs> risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you that we may join you at the Father's side, where you reign with the Spirit in glory, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And if we could now have our New Testament reading, please.
The reading is from Ephesians 1, 15 to the end. I have heard of your faith in the Lord Jesus and your love towards all the saints. And for this reason, I do not cease to give thanks for you as I remember, in all, I remember you in all my prayers. I pray that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, Father of glory, may give you a spirit of wisdom and revelation as you come to know him so that, with the eyes of your heart enlightened, you may know what is the hope to which he, which he has called you, what are the riches of his glorious inheritance among the saints, and what is the immeasurable greatness of his power for us who believe, according to the working of his great power. God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places far above all rule and authority and power and dominion, and above every name that is named, not only in this age, but also in the age to come. And he has put all things under his feet, and has made him the head over all things for the church, which is his body, the fullness of all who fill all in all. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. say together. All, All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Great and wonderful are your deeds, Lord God the Almighty. Just and true are your ways, O ruler of the nations. Who shall not revere and praise your name, O Lord? For you alone are holy. All nations shall come and worship in your presence, for you, your just dealings have been revealed. To the, to one, the one who, who sits, sits on, on the throne and, and to the, the Lamb, be blessing and honour and glory and might, forever and ever. Amen. All, All nations shall come and worship you, O Christ, and share in the feast of your kingdom. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o Lord. Lord. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you whilst I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets, and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the Scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that a Messiah is to suffer and rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to these things, and see I am sending upon you what my father promised, to stay here, so stay here in the city, until you have been clothed with the power from on high. Then he led them out as far as Bethany, and lifting his hands, he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them, and was carried up to heaven. And they worshipped him, and they returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Please sit. Well, it's nice to see uh, other churches here as we gather as a benefice this morning, just like the disciples would have done all those years ago, unbeknowing that to them that Jesus was going to disappear up in the clouds. Now, every time I think of, of this particular passage, uh, me and Liz spoke about it during the week, 
little feet dangling from clouds. But, of course, we hope that's not quite how it happened and he didn't get stuck on his way up. But this passage is packed full with all sorts of different things and, and I could be here for a fair while, but I've been told to keep it short. So there's a few things that I want to talk about. So the first one, Jesus reminds us that he is the one sent by God and what the prophets had written was written about him and he was to suffer and death was the only way for us. We hear that he opened their minds to understand the scriptures. What did he say? Luke hasn't written that, has he? It, it brings all sorts of images and conversations, doesn't it, to our mind about exactly what Jesus would have said to those people stood with him. We know that the disciples always struggle to understand the parables. Maybe he unlocked that part so they would understand what he'd been saying all this time. Or maybe it was something else. And that's one for us to think about as we go through this reading today and, and think about what, what ascension means for us. And the third is resurrection on the third day, a reminder that Jesus died and was resurrected. I'd like to concentrate on a couple of these. And for several weeks ago, we felt the nails going into Jesus' palms and into his feet and we watched him and felt him being hauled up on the cross by the Romans, didn't we? And we watched and waited on Good Friday as he breathed his last breath. And we wept and we mourned and we felt lonely. And then three short days later, Jesus was with us again. He was resurrected. So we know after this, Jesus appeared to his disciples many times. So we know that his resurrection was a bodily experience. He was really there. People put their hands in his wounds and watched him eat and drink. And we realise from this that the death, our death from sin, has been broken once and for all. But I still come back to what did Jesus say to those disciples? I guess we'll never really know. But a bit later on in the reading, there's an instruction. Once again, it's to wait, just like we waited during Easter, from Good Friday to Easter Sunday. Jesus tells us God is going to send his spirit upon us. The problem is, it's waiting, isn't it? We don't like waiting. I know British people are very good at waiting in queues, aren't they? That's the one thing we aren't really good at. But when we order something from Amazon and other places are available for home delivery, of course, we wait and we want it. We want it now because that's the world we live in. For those disciples, they were told to go and wait, to return to Jerusalem and wait. And we know we've got to wait a week. But the disciples didn't know how long they had to wait. They had no idea. But once again, we're asked to wait. And waiting is a problem, isn't it? We've waited for so long to do things in the last, perhaps only just six months, to go and visit relatives, to hug family members, maybe to go and meet friends and family at the pub, indoors, and it's difficult, but we have to watch. We have to wait and watch to see what God does for us. And God will do something different for us this year than he did last year. And he will do something different for us next year. It will all depend on our situation. But what do we need to do? So from today until Pentecost, what is it we need to do? Well, we're told to wait and watch, and we need to do this prayerfully. 
We need to wait and watch for the Spirit to descend upon the world again. So as we wait prayerfully, think about what this ascension means for us in our world. About how we're easing out of lockdown, how we can see friends and family again. What it means for our churches, what it means for our parishes and indeed our benefits. And what does the ascension and, and the spirit coming down on us mean for us as individuals as we wait and watch. So I encourage you to do two things this week. Let's pray for our world in its brokenness and its greed for power, wealth and status. And more difficult perhaps to ask God to open the scriptures to us. To ask for him to open your mind to deepen your understanding as to what we ought to know and understand from the history that we read. So I encourage you to, to find this reading in your Bibles at home and read it and read it and read it and work out what it means for you as individuals as you go on to wait and watch. I'd like to stand now as we say the creed together. <clears throat> we believe in one God, the Father of the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is to be seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light. True God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven, was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory, to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy, Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Please be seated as Susan. Would you please be seated as Susan comes to lead the intercessions. The response should be on the screen. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ great high priest, living forever to intercede for us. Pray for the church, your broken body in the world. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, King of righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the majesty on high. Pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. 
graciously hears. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels those who have died, trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe. Pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, keep the church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet. For you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. To suffer one another a wave of peace. like to be seated or remain standing if you prefer, we'll have Lord enthroned in heavenly splendour. Here. Is with us. Lift up your hearts. Lift up your hearts. 
turn to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to life eternal, and by his ascension gave us the sure hope that where he is, we may also be. Therefore the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Accept our praises, Heavenly Father, through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. And as we follow his example and obey his command, grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us his body and his blood, who, in the same night that he was betrayed, took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them, saying, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. Therefore, Heavenly Father, we remember his offering of himself, made once for all upon the cross. We proclaim his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension. We look for the coming of your kingdom, and with this bread and this cup we make the memorial of Christ your Son, our Lord. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Accept through him our great high priest, this our sacrifice of thanks and praise, and as we eat and drink these holy gifts, in the presence of your divine majesty, renew us by your spirit, <clears throat> inspire us with your love, and unite us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, with all who stand before you in earth and heaven, we worship you, Father Almighty, in songs of everlasting praise. Blessing and honour and glory and power be yours for ever and ever. Amen. Lord, oh sorry, got carried away. <clears throat> Looking for the coming of his kingdom as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Grant us peace. Alleluia, Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore let us keep the feast. Alleluia. Draw near with faith. Receive the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ which he gave for you. Eat and in remembrance that he died for you. And feed on him in your hearts by faith with thanksgiving.
Let us pray. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that, nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Say together. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ, and given us a full taste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Before our final hymn, just a few notices. It is Christian Aid Week. There's a box in church, there's some envelopes. Um, if you would like to give, you can give online as well. Just put in Christian Aid and I'm sure you'll find their website. So thank you for your generosity and all that we can do to help our brothers and sisters across the world. Um, if you want to have a prayer journal, I think everyone who's coming to church has got one. Um, I might take some spares to the vicarage if you want to come and knock on my door later in the day. Or I might, tell you what, I'll put the spares. How many are there, Susan? Um, not many. Eight. I've got eight spare ones. I'll put them in the food bank box at my vicarage. If you want one, come and get one. Um, and... Uh, you're welcome to them. Um, if we, if they've all gone and you, they, you've come and there isn't one and you can't access it online, just let me know and we'll get one to you. If you live in one of the other villages, then likewise, just let us know and we'll make sure we get one to you if you can't access it online. There is an app um, and emails that you can sign up for with Thy Kingdom Come. And um, I, I looked at the video reflection that came this morning by email for me and uh, it was very good, uh, well worth watching and listening to and ties in with the journal. I think that's all. I uh, look forward to seeing you in the various churches on Sunday. Our service isn't quite finished though, there's a little bit more after the final hymn.
Acts of the Apostles. Then the disciples returned to Jerusalem from the Mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath stage journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devouting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. We wait in silence. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for your coming spirit. spirit. As we listen to your word, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming, coming spirit. spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your refreshing. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your renewing. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your equipping. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your empowering. Make, Make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. May the Spirit, who set the church on fire upon the day of Pentecost, bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go with the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia.